Tell us. Can I pause for a second? Yeah. Sir, what part of I don't want you to video record me? We're doing an interview, I thought. You, I'm not doing, well, you, this is, I did not approve for an interview with you. Hey, Shay, sit down. Shay, down. We um, were the national co-chairs of the Women's March. One thing that I think people need to understand is that we underestimate the power of the one individual. So you don't have to be an organizer. One plus one plus one plus one plus one plus one is mass mobilization. So if the Women's March happened and people were like, guess what, I'm not going to go to the Women's March, no one's going to miss me, we wouldn't have had the largest single day protest in U.S. history. So you showing up as one person, never underestimate the power of that. Bring your sister, bring your colleague, bring your friend, even if you can only show up for 30 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Just giving an opportunity to see one or a few minutes of a mass mobilization is extremely powerful. We defeated the health care bill two to three times because of the mass mobilization, the consistent organizer, organizing. So let's, or four times now, and maybe this will be the fifth time. But don't are, underestimate the power of yourself. Don't worry about the organizers. Don't worry about the institutions. Worry about your participation. I will say this about myself. What motivates me is 40, 50 years from now, I'm not going to look back at this moment and be like, I wish I could have done more. Yeah. I want to be able to say that I did everything that I could. I was laid everywhere and laid it on the line. And even if we didn't win, at least I can say to my I children, I did everything. I That's tried to defend you with everything. I tried to be it there for Adi. And it feels good. It so feels so good. look back and be able to say, you know what? I did my part. And a lot of our fellow Americans are not doing their part. And we're asking you to join us and do your part. Henry Rogers, Daily Caller News Foundation. Okay. What, um, what, what's the, what do you think President Trump did this week? Then? What's, what's the worst thing he's done this week? What's the worst thing he's done this week? Do you want to coordinate? Who's coordinating this media? What do you think about the tax rate? Who are you? I'm the Henry Rogers from Daily Caller. I'm asking you a uh, yeah, like, what do you think the worst thing we did this week was? Yeah, yeah. I mean, there has to be something on the list. You, have, you obviously have. Are you shooting? No. You're not. No, no, no. We're just having a little snack. We're just having a snack. You're very vocal on Twitter. We'd like to hear your your message here on camera. I think we're good. Thank you so much. Yeah, no. All right. So you see, folks, uh, they don't want to talk to us. Remember that they work for us. So behind you, there's a closed door that says meeting in progress, meeting in progress. Tell us. Can I pause for a second? Yeah. Sir, what part of I don't want you to video record me? We're doing an interview, I thought. You, I'm not doing, well, you, yeah, this is, I did not approve for an interview with you. This is like the hundredth time We're in a public that. building. I, mean, I just don't so see the this problem. Is a meeting here. with um, Senator Susan Collins, who's actually oh, has no a history problem. of actually doing the right thing. Um, uh, you're not. You're still inside the room. But I'm allowed to be in this room. Thank you. The amendments that she does not, that she wants, are not the amendments. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Shay, sit down. Shay, sit down. Shay, Shay, Shay. Can I just say it out for the Shay? What do you take of all these protesters? Just because he wrote the bill, I think it's a democracy. It's you know people. People have the First Amendment right to say what they want. That's what makes our country great.